How do you feel, Jay? Here. Enzo Fitzgerald. Dan Fazer on the yard for twenty. And team review mafia free. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, you want to give their thoughts uh, first? Uh, can I go? Yeah, go ahead. Yes. Oh, yeah. Mafia three was it's it's uh, the things I loved about it. We'll start with this. It, the better graphics and stuff in the nineteen sixties Florida is awesome and stuff in the driving style. But the thing that made it like not as good as Mafia two for me is the fact that. Like, so much of the game is stuffed with uh, the infinite missions that basically, like, you know, the missions you play at the end of the game that you can play forever. And then there's, yeah. like, 20% of the actual story play. But the graphics, all of that, and all like, the different cool features, like in the M16 and all that, and, there was yeah. a storyline to it, but it's not a good amount of yeah. story missions. Yeah, didn't you say there was a Harry Potter reference in this game, D'Angelo? Yeah, there's a, you can find a, the same car is stuck in top of the tree that the, they drove in the Harry Potter movie and crashed in the tree. Yeah. And you also, you also said there was a Pulp Fiction reference too, right? In the second movie, in the second game, there. Oh yeah, the second game, yeah. They. The second game has a Pulp Fiction reference. Whenever they shoot Marvin in the face. When they shot Marvin and brought him to that that exchange, it looks like the exact area that it was in that movie. Yeah. Yeah. The only thing that's different is that they don't go to Jimmy's house first. They don't have the whole conversation. Yeah. And Joe too also shot him by accident. As well. Yeah, Same that's thing. another thing too. They shot it by accident. Like in Pulp Fiction. Yeah. Yeah, like. Yeah, but it, yeah, like it's kind of different though because Vince said he turned like they're, yeah, like they're in a car whenever it's like in Pulp Fiction whenever it's going on. Yeah, Jules and Vincent they're both in the car with Mark with Marvin in the back arguing about the divine intervention. Vincent turns to Marvin with his gun pointing at him. He's like. Yes. The story, plot, and everything is perfect and everything. But you notice how the, the whole game has barely any of the actual missions involving this actual story. It's like missions that you would basically have at the end of the game. And I heard apparently the reason was because when they made this game, Right when they finished the production, the people went on strike, so they had to scrap the whole thing. Yeah. But great, it, it's great, uh, great graphics and good storyline, but not not enough missions uh, in, pertaining into the story. Mafia Two has only got one mission that doesn't pertain to the story. Every single one pertains to it. Yeah. Mafia Free is a good game. His gameplay is really good. Its graphics are really good too. <laughs> yeah, it is. But the those are the kind of things I I didn't like the fact that they took out such main so much main story missions. I noticed that. So I both. 20-30% of the game is main story missions and the rest is all just m infinite missions that can be created. From oh yeah. <laughs> what do you think of it so far, Faison? Yeah, sorry if I'm, if I'm not in front of the, the camera as much. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just getting... I just wanted to get my hoodie here. Rating okay. model, you want me to give it like a rating out of 10? Yeah. My, what? Yeah, well, I would rate Mafia 3, I would rate it about, like, it would be about a, a, about a 6. I think, because... I'd say it's about a 6 too. I'd say it's a 6 out of 10 too, why not? Because 666 uh, six, six, number the beast. <laughs> No, just because it, it levels up the number of how good it is. 
because they cut so much of this main story out and all that. It's got it's it's fun to scoot around and drive around the town and stuff. You can do that. It still it still was all right, but uh, man, I freaking actually got bored of it quick though too. Yeah, I figured. And I didn't I wouldn't think I played through the story one more time. And then they got this screwed up problem where it, and they don't tell you this will happen if you decide to uh, take the same deal over and over from your three associates. You'll lose your, and you don't decide to give them uh, each equal ones, you'll lose your gun shop owner just because you didn't know that. Yeah. You had the re whole game because of that. I don't know what the hell that was. I'll get Eater. Actually, I rated five because of that. Yeah, I just remembered that pr friggin' problem. I it brings it to five. Okay, that's 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 it's mediocre. So what do you guys say, Steve? Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Maf Mafia Three also has a uh, veto uh, appear back in it in in the story, which is pretty cool. And then you. Fuck, and then there's a cool twist though they had at the end of it, but they had the, that one the problem I just remembered it had made me bring it down to a five. If you don't know that, you'll literally lose your gun shop, and if you and if you and you could lose your uh, depending which one you give too much of the deals to, you will lose your friggin' gang, uh, crew that you can call randomly, and I had to replay the whole game and do and that over again just so I could have all the, my things at the end of the game. Oh yeah, for sure. That was freak, I don't know why they did. I don't know why you did that Mafia, Mafia Frito, that's stupid. So what do you think of it so far, Fee's on Mafia Free? What? What do you think of Mafia Free? Yeah, it looks pretty good. You yeah, put, yeah, I really, yeah, I can't really tell because I haven't really played it as much. But I played Mafia 1 and 2, so I know a little bit about Mafia. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, I had to bring my rating down to a 5 once I just remembered that problem with it. Okay. That's, that was a major problem in the game, but I loved it though. It was a fun game. It was a fun uh, game for sure. But it had a lot of problems. Yeah, alright. Yeah. So we're gonna do our outro now? Alright. Okay. Killer fucking J here. D'Angelo. Hey, John God 420. Mm. Yep. Out. And we're still we're, we're, we're phasing out.